is Eric Fine, a 72 PC. Welcome to this week's Quick Hits. This week, we're a little light on the news front, just got a little bit from Microsoft, so I'm gonna actually lead off with something I'm excited about. And that was Rule Warriors Age of Calamity. Uh, for those of you who aren't quite familiar with this, Rule Warriors is a sub-series of the Zelda franchise. It is modeled off of Dynasty Warrior games with very big emphasis on one versus a thousand style combats. It's, this is not made by the core Zelda team, but this time it was made in conjunction with them. So they had a very heavy input on the game and how it was actually made. But why I'm really excited about this, and for anyone around the 72 community, this is gonna be no surprise. I'm not a huge Zelda fanboy. I don't think they're bad games, don't get me wrong. I just don't hold them to the reverence of a lot of other people around here. So, when Breath of the Wild dropped, I was super excited because this game just felt unique to the Zelda franchise. It felt good, it played good, it was just an absolute great game. So the fact that they're making a Hyrule Warriors game based on the Age of Calamity, which is the 100 years before Breath of the Wild, I'm actually pretty excited to get into this. They're not going to be using traditional Zelda tropes. They're going to be sticking to what was established in Breath of the Wild. It's going to be fun to get back in there and play with all the different characters that you've discovered in Breath of the Wild and be part of this big war going on with Ganon. So this is something I'm really excited about. It'll be great to get a hold of. And it'll probably tie it over some people a little bit until finally we get some more information on Breath of the Wild 2. Well, enough about what I'm excited about. Let's get into some Microsoft news. The first little bit we have is Xbox Game Pass is going to be changing. They're officially moving the program out of beta for PC users, and they're going to be charging $10 a month now rather than five. And this is for both console and PC. But there is good news. With this extra $5 a month, they are giving you some more content. They are adding EA Play into the mix. So now when you pay $10 a month to get Game Pass, you will get the Game Pass games such as Gears of War and Halo and all this stuff you've come to enjoy on Game Pass, as well as all the titles held under EA Play, which we touched on some of those last week. So go watch last week if you're interested in that. Either way, this is still a really good value. But if you don't care about the EA library, this might hurt you a little bit. So just know this change is coming. And if you don't want it, cancel your subscription before the price goes up on you. And now for the bigger piece of news from Microsoft. And let's just start as the week progresses. Earlier in the week, there were some leaks about the Xbox consoles. And these just weren't leaks where people were wondering if it's true, is it not? These leaks were so accurate that Microsoft had to get out there and actually make a statement and release the information themselves. So what we are now left with is the official price of two different Xboxes that they are calling the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. Let's start with the Xbox Series S. This is going to be the weaker of the consoles and it's going to come in at roughly $300. I'm kind of caught on this one because I get wanting to put a cheaper console out there so it's more approachable. But at the same time, you're touting your Series X as the strongest console that's going to be on the market. It's going to be able to do something like 12 petaflops or something like that. So the idea of making this powerful console that your games are going to be able to leverage and look beautiful and then selling a cheaper console that will also kind of handcuff games to be able to still play on the lowest denominator. I think they really need to figure out what they want to do. If they want to cater to a high-end console or if they want to actually cater to a more approachable console. That said, they also released the price point on the Series X, which is going to sit at $500. Once again, they're avoiding that hateful $600 figure that the PS3 hit and flopped horribly with. So this is your big console. This is going to be the one that pushes all the frame rates, the beautiful graphics, all that kind of stuff. It's also substantially bigger, as you'll see on the picture that's been shown. These consoles are of different sizes. So part of the deal with console gaming is that they're not as expensive as high-end PCs. And as these consoles are getting more expensive, Microsoft is stepping up and deciding, let's make a deal here. So now they are offering financing in a way where you can pay $25 a month or $35 a month and get either the Series S or the Series X. The payments will go for 24 months, but they will also include what they are now calling Game Pass Ultimate, which is what I was earlier discussing. 
So, when it all comes down to it, you will be getting the console and two years of Game Pass Ultimate for actually slightly lower than list price. So for the ability to go in, get a console without money down, and actually still saving money doing so, I think it's a really good deal that Microsoft's doing here for the game. This to me is just another good move by Microsoft. They did this when they brought Game Pass to PC, and they're doing it now when they're making consoles easier to get a hold of, even if they are more expensive. They're really starting to understand their customer base. They've realized that they can't pull PC gamers over to console. So what do you do? You sell your games on PC, so you're still getting a piece of that market. They've also realized that people on console typically don't want to pay high-end prices like you would for a PC, so they're giving them financing options and, even though I don't agree with the console, cheaper consoles. But while I think Microsoft is nailing it on hardware and nailing it on subscription services, everyone knows they're falling behind on games. They have Halo and they have Forza. Some people still care about Gears, but that's it. Microsoft needs to get on the same level with Sony. They need to start pumping out better first party games. Or they just need to make the 24 karat gold console like Sony's with the PS5. Yes, that's a joke that I'm making. However, that console really does exist. Look it up, it's ludicrous. And that said, I'm gonna get out of here on what I think the deal of the week is. And that is right now, Divinity Original Sin 2 is 60% off. Now, I'm gonna put a disclaimer out there. This game is not for everyone. If you are a fan of the old isometric RPGs like Boulder's Gate, you will love this game. I mean, this is a love letter to that type of game. There is a reason that they were given the license for Boulder's Gate to make Boulder's Gate 3. They knocked it out of the park with Divinity Original Sin 2. But if you think those games are slow and you'd rather stick to your action RPGs like Diablo, you might not want to pick this up. That said, that's all I got for you guys this week on Quick Hits. So, until next week, game on.